Thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and today we're talking about MailChimp and email marketing. So the premise is we've already sent out a campaign for somebody, and they wanted to resend it to non-openers. Now there's a way to do it. We'll make another video about it and how to do it on the website, um, but we're going to show you how to do it on the app. And the reason we like the app is I can just pick up my phone and then click a few things and then be done with it. So typically we do send things on this particular one Thursday or Friday. So if there are any non-openers during the weekend, we can quickly pull out our phone anywhere, grocery store, bank line, at work, doesn't matter, and do a resend instead, instead of having to do a bunch of other steps. All right, so let's get to it, thanks. All right, so let's get to it. Here we are, I'm just inside of my phone and it's super zoomed in. I know it's not quite 4K quality at all, but I did want to make it bigger so people could see it. Um, all right, so let's get to it. You can see all my apps in here. We'll scroll down to MailChimp. And I don't think I can click it on the computer. All right, so we'll go ahead and let it open. And this is the account which we want to do a resend on. So they've got different stuff here. It shows unsubscribes. That's not um, really true if you're looking at that number. It's just merely removing all those people so the MailChimp billing doesn't charge us for people who don't want email. And we have another video on that. But we're going to go ahead and go down to, it's like a mountains with a sun, or maybe it's just shapes. I have no idea. And we're going to go to the last email sent. So here's the last email sent for this particular one. You just click the most recent one on the top or the one that you want to resend. It has information here about it. I'm going to blur a little bit of that out. And you'll see at the bottom, it says resend to non-openers. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So you just click resend to non-openers. It says, and we're just gonna click this resend to non-openers. Then it shows you a preview of it, which you can also preview. I usually just leave it the same for the non-openers. You can replicate it and change things in the future if you wanted to do so, but I wanna make this really quick. How I use this is I've sent out an email and maybe before the weekend, somebody, you know, a few people didn't open it. 83% in this particular matter didn't open it. And so we're going to go ahead and send it again. So touch and hold, thinks for a second, gives you a high five. So then everyone who did not open it gets it again. Now people always ask, well, what about people that block trackers, etc.? They will also get it again because they weren't able to be tracked. So MailChimp doesn't know if they opened it or not. And then it shows right up here at the top, Resent. And this one was just called Master List Send on the date. Anyway, that's how you send it via the MailChimp app. Again, you can do this in MailChimp as well by segmenting things down and then resending it to the segmented group. But honestly, this is three steps. You can do it really quickly on your phone and just be done with it. If this video was helpful in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, let us know in the comments below if you have additional questions about MailChimp and email marketing or WordPress or any of our other tutorials. We'd love to answer them. Additionally, we have a Facebook group, which is facebook.com, spacing it, slash group, slash press avenue. And there we have uh, discussions about all of our tutorials where we can provide additional feedback, help, links, etc., on Facebook itself. So go ahead and click there to join in the description below. And lastly, if you like any of this type of stuff from WordPress tutorials to email marketing, etc., go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>